All right, so this is part two of what is quickly becoming the Fourier information series on 40 CUs. Uh, <laughs> ignore that. As you can see, I've got Tuner Pro RT open up here. This is what I use for tuning OBD1 Fords, primarily Rangers, but I've used it on a Mustang and some other things as well. Um, as you can see, we have the bench top engine here. This is a, oh, I forget the company, JB Perf, I think, Jim Stem V2.3, or 1.3, sorry, available through Bowling and Grippo, which is also DIY Auto Tune, and it's from the Mega Squirt Circles. Um, just a simple 300 watt uh, computer power supply. DB37 or 35, I can't remember which. It actually plugs into the gym stem here. Let me uh, cut it here and then I'll get that plugged in. We'll continue on. All right, so I'm back. Got it plugged in. Um, basically, you just turn the power on. As you can see, the fuel pump diode comes on because the RPM dials are set high. So it thinks it's running. Turn that off. And it should go out like that. Give it a little bit of RPM. And the fuel pump comes back on. So, yeah, basically it's simulating an engine. I'm trying not to arc those out. I need to clean it up a little bit. Um, stock Ford ECU. There's nothing modified internally. The only addition is a Motes quarter horse. I'll pro provide a link to this in the description. Um, but they're available through a number of retailers. I mainly get mine directly from Motes. Um, they seem to be the most consistent. But now that the ECU is on and powered up, we'll come up here to this window this uh, acquire hardware button down here it'll tell you quarter horse v1.6 which is the firmware on that particular device um, yeah okay initialize the emulation hardware excuse me uh, from here all right now that we're back in focus the tools button up here on tuner pro RT has this button that says hardware utilities. The one you want is Motes Prom IO. And it'll open this menu here. So you click the F2E EEC4 reader and read chip. When you click edit buffer it will actually give you the a copy of the binary. The, the trick to this is these two addresses right here. Normally this function will auto load a 3 in that second digit position and that'll read straight from the quarter horse. If you read from the first buffer with this utility here it will read the ECU but the ECU has to be powered on. The exception to this rule is using one of these. This is a Motes Burn 2, and I'm actually missing the other half of the interface. It's at the shop. This can read on, on the bench and provide power to the ECU, so you don't have to have it plugged in. Uh, to show that we are, in fact, communicating with the ECU, I can hit the acquire data button. That box will turn blue and we're out of focus again. There we are. Uh, the ATX is running. Well, that's weird. This is working before. Um, let me play this, play with this, and I'll get back to you. 
All right, so I figured it out. Apparently, um, when I read the tune to the buffer, it overwrote what I had patched on the quarter horse. So, same setup, gym stem, quarter horse, tuner pro. I can move the dials here, and it will actually change. You can see the RPMs going up there. Um, the only thing I haven't figured out is the math. But everything else, there's your ECT, there's the ECT. This one should be throttle position. You can see it right there. All the way up to 4.9. So, the ECU is working. Injector pulses, um, I could hook. Thanks for watching. There may be more in this series coming. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my Facebook page, the Instagram. I post a lot of interesting and uh, fascinating projects there before I even post a video here. Um, they'll be down in the description below. So have a nice night, and I'll catch you in the next one.